Arab Tov Chavri, I'm Stephen Benutin. You're watching Israeli News Live. We've got a special guest this evening coming on right after this broadcast. This evening, be loading a little bit later there with Dr. Douglas uh, Petrovich. Uh, be coming on about the ancient Hebrew language, uh, the discovering of the oldest alphabet being der derived from the Egyptian hieroglyphics. I'm sure it's going to be a blessing for many of you. Uh, real quick, I want to just cut, touch a couple of uh, headlines here before uh, uh, I'll be inter interviewing with Dr. Petrovich there. One, uh, during Hanukkah, Israeli uh, spelunkers in an ancient Jude uh, Judean cistern discovered a 2,000-year-old engraving of a menorah. Uh, uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu tweeted today saying, Our roots here are deep. I thought that was very interesting. There is so much historical evidence for the Jews both in uh, the modern-day Israel as well as Judea and Samaria. And again, I stand with Israel on this mainly because the United Nations have changed their uh, opinion on the land that was going to be given to the Jewish people since 1920 under the British mandate on several times, about four times in fact, this land has been changed. Uh, I am not for, though, throwing Palestinian people that are living in Judea and Samaria out. I don't think that that's right either. But I do believe that it should be one state, one law, and they should work together. That's kind of my stand on that. But anyway, a couple of other things too I wanted to share with you also and already happened. A couple of things that he's brought out I want to share with you here real fast. Um, and that happens to be uh, the latest thing here. The Syrian army uh, pounds ISIS positions around T-4 air base in East Homs, Syria. Um, we're seeing that happening uh, today. Uh, as Syria continues to make advances against ISIS as well. Uh, this was a very troubling scene here in China. Uh, this happens to be a solid fuel uh, booster nuclear uh, warhead uh, bomb intercontinental ballistic missile in China headed to the northern province there, northeastern province. Uh, and this here will give you a little bit better idea of where that's at. Uh, as you can see here on your map and behind you, the red dot there happens to be the geolocation where that nuclear uh, intercontinental ballistic missile was being put at. Just to the south is North Korea, South Korea, and of course that puts it kind of um, in the direction of Japan or the western United States. Don't know why China is moving over in that direction there, but it is a DF-41 nuclear solid fuel road mobile intercontinental ballistic missile uh, in the uh, docking streets uh, west of the uh, Helong, uh, Helong Yang uh, province in China is where that was at there. Uh, so very troubling situation, things that are going on. Uh, we'll be trying to keep you up to date with more of these things later this evening here uh, after our interview with uh, Dr. Douglas Petrovich who will be coming on shortly here to share uh, his remarkable discovery uh, that he made there on the ancient uh, Hebrew alphabet being derived from that of the uh, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. I had the opportunity to spend a couple hours with him last night and uh, just very, very much enlightening and very much a blessing to me to be able to see so many things that he had to say there. Um, oh, by the way, too, zero evidence Russia influenced U.S. elections according, according to uh, Donald Trump's press secretary, uh, who will be uh, running things there at the White House once he gets in. Uh, so a lot of things happening in, around the world there, uh, and a lot of things, no doubt. Riot at Italian Refugee Center in the Migrant Starts Fire and Staff Held Hostage Over a Woman's Death. Uh, another th story that is breaking uh, here just here in the last few hours here. RT reporting on this as well. Uh, so a lot of, lot of tensions. And by the way, the migrant crisis in Italy is really staggering as far as the number of migrants that have come in. And it is only getting worse. We are, uh, Israeli News Live is planning on going down there not long after the uh, Paris trip there. We're going down there to see the migrant crisis for ourselves. Uh, these are northern African migrants that are coming into Italy, uh, and they're being basically, I mean, quote-unquote, bussed in, but we, we realize it's by boat. They are being boated in uh, from, from these African countries, from Libya, but it's not the Libyans. It's actually 
uh, young men coming up from Africa uh, into um, a young Muslim men coming up from uh, southern mid middle parts of Africa, working their way through and then being boated across uh, and brought into Italy. And of course, we know Pope Francis' stand is to let anybody and everybody in. Makes you wonder what the agenda really is. Chaos, no doubt. You know, I'm really wondering if this is not a really a plan. You know, these alien entities that the Pope says he's going to baptize when they get here. He's not going to be baptizing the alien entities. They're going to tell him what to do because it's demonic beings. And maybe this is what CERN is all about to start with, only to make a nice big hole there for them to come sailing right on in. They'll come here. Don't worry about it. And I think this might be the plan for some of these people here. Kind of thin out the population so they don't have too many of us to try to deal with. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, Erev Tov.